Are you struggling with the error message, cannot read property load of undefined? You're not alone. This is a common issue when integrating Google Sign-In, and today we're going to help you resolve it. I totally get how frustrating it can be when you're following documentation and suddenly an error pops up. It can feel like you're hitting a brick wall. But don't worry, we're here to break it down together. Let's dive into the specific situation. One user reached out saying they encountered the error, uncaught type error, cannot read property load of undefined while trying to implement Google Sign-In. They notice this error occurs about half the time, especially when a specific resource isn't loaded. Sound familiar? Let's find a solution together. So what's going on here? This error typically means that the Google API library hasn't fully loaded before your script tries to access it. This can happen due to network issues or timing problems in your code. But don't worry, we can fix this. Stick around because at the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will help you avoid this error in the future. To eliminate the error, the user should first ensure that the Google API script is loaded correctly before calling the gappy.load function. This can be done by checking the order of the script tags in the HTML. Next, the user should add a callback function to ensure that the gappy object is available before trying to load the auth2 module. This can be done by using the gapy.load function inside the callback of the platform.js script. Additionally, the user should check the network panel in Chrome to confirm that the Google API script is being loaded without any issues. If there are network errors, they may need to troubleshoot their internet connection or check for any ad blockers. Finally, if the error persists, the user can implement a retry mechanism in their script. This will attempt to load the key object again if it is not available initially. Fun fact, did you know that the first web page ever created is still online? It was published by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. Just like that page, we need to make sure our scripts are properly linked. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests adding an onload parameter to the script link. This ensures that the Gappy library loads correctly before calling the load function. You can include a script in the head tag with the onload attribute set to your initialization function. For React applications, the user recommends creating a function to load the Gappy script dynamically. This function appends the script to the document head and initializes the Google auth after the script loads. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always check the network panel in your browser's developer tools. This will help you see if all necessary resources are loading correctly. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to eliminate that pesky error. Remember, proper script loading order is key. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and don't forget to check out our other videos.